everybody welcome back to sweet love and ginger youtube channel today i'm doing a little bit of a garden tour um it is mid-july so things are going to change real fast here soon so i wanted to get one in before all the big changes here we go so we'll start off with this bed this was the first bed that i planted um obviously there's some lettuce that needs to be pulled because it's gone a little past um carrots onions it's kind of a little ridiculous now because everything's starting to flop over onto each other and stuff but i'm hoping to get a really good harvest out of here i've never gotten a great carrot harvest so i'm really excited because this one looks pretty good it's also a little floppy because i just watered it and everything's flopped down um <laughs> This bed was also one of the first beds that I planted, but it got mowed down by bunnies. So what you're seeing here is a second or third seeding of a couple things. We've got um, here was spinach, some mustard greens, beets, um, and then way back there we have way back there we have kohlrabi. There's a volunteer carrot and some volunteer parsley, and then some volunteer cilantro that I just let hang out um, and then my kale my little kale forest um, that definitely needs to be uh, thinned out a little bit at this point the next bed we have over here is the garlic bed uh, in here I also planted some radishes and stuff that would come up early and a few carrots because like I said I've never had a great carrot harvest so I keep trying but this is one of the things that's going to change soon because um, the garlic is going to be ready to harvest pretty quickly here. Um, you'll see there's there's a volunteer sunflower, which I'm a little excited about. Um, we got a couple of those in this bed. There's one, there's one over there as well. Um, this bed is my tomato bed, so. In here we've got some more volunteer cilantro I actually moved from the previous bed into here. And it's bolting, as you can tell. I'm going to let it go, so maybe I'll get some more um, volunteers next year. I've got two eggplant in here and some herbs. You'll see um, back in the middle there, there's some parsley. Um, and I think I've got one little basil plant over there. And then I've got four different cherry um, tomatoes. Um, we've got these are sun golds down here. And then over here we've got these little black beauties. Um, midnight snack, I think they're called. Um, then there's um, the uh, what is it, standard 1000 cherries, something like that. And then I've got another, I think I just have an heirloom. Uh, beefsteak that I guess so I don't have four cherries I have three cherries um, I decided not to do a ton of tomatoes this year because I can buy them really cheaply up the road um, for tomato sauce and stuff so I decided to just um, get some fun things for me to have fun with in the kitchen and then I've got some nasturtiums and then my one little baby eggplant you see there um, the long bed here has a plethora of different things. Um, it's got tomatoes, or I'm sorry, potatoes on this end, and cabbage on that end. There's some more radishes mixed in with the cabbage. Um, and I've got some more herbs in these pots. That's a, ba that's a basil. There's another basil down there. And then in with the potatoes, I've got some peas on this side, on this little fence. I'd hoped those would come up and be done before the potatoes really took off, but that didn't work out for whatever reason this year. And then I've got some vining beans here for my little arch into the um, three sisters bed, which is really a multiple three sisters bed. I've got a row of sunflowers, um, the corn's in the middle here, and then I've got a row of bush beans. I've got, in this one, I've got some peas with the corn, and beans over here with the corn, and then I've got some winter squash in between that started a little late because of 
the corn taking so long to get started. So I'm hoping that it, it comes out, but we'll find out. If not, I'll use the squash blossoms for something. Um, then, oh, this guy's leaning a little bit. Then we've got some cucumbers down here at the end that are just starting to get going. And obviously I've got some marigolds and other things mixed in with all this stuff. Um, but I just like to do that. It, I think mixing it up is beneficial for the soil, beneficial for the plants. And it's pretty, so we like to do that. Um, then over here, this is this bed needs a little bit of love right now. That back corner was a frog habitat. I let them live in there in the um, weeds and uh, recently they got overwhelming so I had to take the leaves down so that's going to be a project next. I've got some chives. I've got some uh, some dill, some lemon thyme, some sage, my roses my Rogosa roses which are really good at giving rose hips which is why I have them because I like rose hip tea. Um, these are some basil plants. I've got a volunteer oregano right there um, with my salvia which is going to be moved and moved to the front flower garden because I want to make this more edible stuff. Um, then we've got some more edible flowers. Um, it's same thing with these, uh, what are these? These are lilies of some sort. They're, they're going um, into the front garden as well because, again, I want to make this a more edible garden. Um, lots of time. We go through lots of time in the winter, so I like to dry it. So we've got two thyme plants. You see there's one there, there's one there, and they're really bushing out. They're kind of hidden right now because my rugosas are taking over and they need to be trimmed back this fall. Then I've got a nice big patch of oregano, and behind there you can kind of see a small lavender plant it's just starting to go um, to flower. Um, but yeah, look at that. I just planted these rose bushes last year and look how big these guys are. It's so exciting. Um, it's going to be a good year for rose hips. Um, then the last part of my veggie garden is these buckets with um, some more potatoes. I haven't had great success with this method yet but we're testing it out again see if it works. And there you have it. That is my little garden tour.